Now let's take a look at a few different ways in Roblox that you can kill a player. So here I have a red wall. The name of the wall is pill. Inside the pill, I have a script. Here is one way to kill the player when the player touches the wall. It's by changing the player's health to zero. You can refer to our prior tutorial on how a kill pill works. Another way to kill a player is instead of changing the health to zero, you can use the take damage function. So in here, instead of changing the health to zero, I'm going to do colon take damage function. And inside a function, I can specify how much health to take away from the player. So if I put in 100 here, it's going to kill the player right away because the total health of a player is 100 and you take away 100, it's going to become zero. And as we learned in our prior tutorial, if the player's health goes to zero, the player is going to be dead. Now, instead of taking away 100 health, why don't we take away just 10 health each time the player touches this, this pill? But in reality, it's going to take away much more than 10 health because you can see we do not have a debouncing process inside this pill. So let's now play test and take a look. Each time I touch the pill, it's going to take away more than 10 health since I do not have a debouncing process in it. Here we go. You can see it took away a bunch of health. Let me open up my character and go to the humanoid so we can tell how much health it took away. So look at my health right now. It's at 53. And with time, I regain my health back. Now I'm going to go and touch the pill again. And I'm dead. So each time I take the pill, since there is no debouncing process, it's recording multiple touches to the pill. And each touch is going to cost me 10 health. And that's why it killed me so fast, because it recorded multiple touches to the ball. So if in your game, you want to take only 10 health each time the player touches the ball, you must add a debouncing process to this touch event. And you can refer to our prior tutorial on debouncing for more details. Another way to kill the character is, instead of changing the, the health of the character, what I can do is I can break the joints of the character. So here's my characters. The character is other part dot parent. Now if I use the function break joints, whoops, this will break the joints of the character and that would kill the character immediately. Let's play test and take a look. There's my pill. I'm going to touch it. And boom, I'm dead immediately. And just for fun, we can kill a character by blowing up the character. So instead of breaking the joints of the character, you can replace that one line with these two lines. On this line here, we're creating an explosion using instance.new to create a new object. The object type is going to be of type explosion, and we're putting it inside the workspace. We're positioning our explosion exactly at the location of the part. So the part is our pill that the player touches. The explosion is going to happen exactly at that same spot where the part is, where the pill is, and the, the explosion is going to kill the player. Let's play test and take a look. And there is our pill. I'm going to go and touch it. Boom. I am dead. Basically, the explosion breaks the joints of the character, and that's what kills the character. If you're lucky, the explosion only breaks away your arm or your leg, you're not going to die. So you can still play, you can still hop around on one leg inside the game. But if it breaks your, your neck joint, then you're dead. So those are just some of the ways that you can kill a player inside Roblox.